One of the most precious resources that support life is water. It is the reason why humans and other life forms continue to survive here on Earth. From the water that we drink to the water we use for our chores and up to the water that grows our crops, we can say that water is equally vital in our day-to-day -day living. Thankfully, we have water sources like rivers that supply us with water. However, the increasing pollution in our water system that we continue to face is a detriment to the water quality that we use. As early as 1996, monitoring of the country's rivers showed that only 51% of the classified rivers still met the standard for their most beneficial use. The rest were already polluted from domestic, industrial, and agricultural sources. Most studies point to the fact that domestic wastewater is the principal cause of organic pollution of our water bodies. Yet, only a small portion of investment in water supply and sanitation were going to sanitation and sewage treatment. 31% of all illnesses in the country are attributed to polluted waters. To ensure access to clean water for all Filipinos, the government needed to put together a comprehensive strategy to protect water quality. That is why the government implemented laws on water quality management. One of the laws is Republic Act number 3931 was signed into law on June 18, 1964 to create the National Water and Air Pollution Control Commission. Twelve years later, confronted with the growing menace of environmental pollution, the government decided to revise Republic Act number 3931 and issued Presidential Decree number 984 on August 18, 1976 to make the National Pollution Control Commission more effective and efficient in the discharge of its functions and more responsive to the demands of the times occasioned by the accelerative pace of the country's industrialization program. The Act declares as national policy to maintain reasonable standards of purity for the waters and air of this country with their utilization for domestic agricultural, industrial, and other legitimate purpose. This commission will determine the pertinent information regarding pollution of the water, air, and land resources of the country and take measures using available methods and technologies to prevent or abate such pollution. Issue rules and regulations to govern the approval of plans and specification of sewage works and industrial waste disposal systems and the issuance of permits under the provisions of this law. The Commission shall also conduct continuing research and studies of the effective means for the control and abatement of pollution. This law was created because industrial development began to accelerate in early 60s. However, pollution became a concomitant problem. Aside from industrial waste, agricultural pollution, river dumping of waste, and lack of proper sewage facilities are also the reason for the increase in water pollution. Another law that addresses the problems with water quality is Republic Act 9275, also known as the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004. The act was signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo on the 22nd of March 2004 and it was effective May 6, 2004. This act provides for comprehensive water quality, management, and other purposes. It aims to protect the country's water bodies from pollution from land-based sources. It also provides for a comprehensive and integrated strategy to prevent and minimize pollution of all water bodies, fresh, brackish, and marine waters. It shall be the policy of the state to prevent, control, and abate pollution of the country's water resources, promote environmental strategies for the protection of water resources, formulate a national program of water quality management, promote commercial and industrial processes and products that are environmentally friendly and energy efficient, etc. All sources of sewage and septage are required to comply with the law. The governing boards will formulate strategies to coordinate policies necessary for the effective implementation of this act. They will create a multi-sectoral group to establish and effect water quality surveillance and monitoring. 
This law addresses the problem of wastewater pollution produced by the ever-increasing population and developing industries. One of the rules of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources as a primary agency responsible for the implementation of the said law is to make an action plan for each water quality management area. They needed to make water pollution control strategies and techniques, water quality information and education programs, and build sewages and septage projects. On this matter, the Iloilo Bashano River system is one of the considered water quality management areas. Iloilo River was already noted for its rich fishing grounds uh, and as a busy artery of commerce. It played a very crucial role in making Iloilo City one of the most modern cities in the Philippines. Iloilo River is an estuary river located in the province of Iloilo in western Visayas, Philippines. The river starts in Otan at Bashano River, which is also an estuary, then traverses through the Iloilo City districts of Lapu, La Paz, Manduriao, Molo, Arevalo, and Iloilo City proper before emptying into the Iloilo Strait. Since Iloilo Bashano River is also considered a river basin, it is the recipient of many pollution sources coming from agricultural runoff domestic waste from commercial and residential areas, industrial waste discharges, and small to medium-scale piggeries. Stagnant waters can be observed during the dry season. Also, most of the solid waste and domestic garbage from upstream, ocean vessels, and residents along its embankment find their way to the river system. And those carried by the ocean current intrude into this body of water during high tide. Fortunately, the two laws implemented Republic Act 9275 and Republic Act 3931 had made the efforts to lessen the water pollution faced by the Iloilo Bashano River. Over the years, the city of Iloilo has undertaken several strategic initiatives to address particularly river-related issues. In 2005, the Iloilo River Development Council was created. IBRDC has been leading and coordinating with national agencies, non-government organizations, academic, and civil society in addressing siltation, water pollution, encroachment, illegal cutting of mangroves, and informal settlements in Iloilo River. Key elements of the master plan are conservation and the restoration areas, overlay spatial planning, ecotourism, signage as interpretative elements, management of waterways, and land use management. It integrated the different mandated activities under Republic Act 9275, which calls for the promotion of environmental strategies for the protection of water resources and the formulation of a national program of water quality management. Also, as part of the development of the river, the Esplanade was constructed. It provided the needed access to the Iloilo River and brings about a sense of pride and ownership among Ilongos. Today, it is a venue for outdoor recreation and conventions. This is in line too with Republic Act 9275, which mandated commercial and industrial projects that will contribute to the restoration and beautification of water sources. As for the implementation of Republic Act 3931, the Iloilo River Development Council or IBRDC leads an interagency commitment based on a common set of objectives. They agreed to pursue the following. Reduce water pollution through low-cost wastewater treatment technologies, septage management, regular cleanup, water quality monitoring, and no discharge permit, no business permit policy. Bashano River. <laughs>